Mm. Heaven. Heaven. Hello everyone, it's Liz Mew and today we're going to be making the best breakfast sandwiches ever. Korean Isaac toast. What is Korean Isaac toast, Liz? Let me tell you. Well, in Korea, they have a chain called Isaac Toast, which makes the most delicious breakfast sandwiches. And their secret is the sauce. The sauce. A kiwi fruit based sauce. Sounds crazy. Sounds questionable. But it is delicious, okay? And it just takes the whole sandwich to another level. Without the sauce, it's just a ham and egg and cheese sandwich. But with the sauce, it's nice. Ooh, la, la. The thing about this sauce, when you make it, it gets better in the fridge after a few days. This is sauce I made on the weekend. It is now Wednesday. I have had a lot of Isaac toast since then. And the sauce just gets better over time. But this is one of those breakfasts where it's a little bit difficult to make on the first day, but then you have everything. You've got your vegan egg, you've got your sauce, and you're ready to have Isaac toast all week. Okay, let's get into the sauce. Now for the sauce, you need two kiwis. I'm using a green kiwi and a gold kiwi, but I don't think it really matters. I just have no chill. Next, you need a chunk of pineapple. Did I buy a whole pineapple for this recipe? Yes, I did. Do you only need a little bit of pineapple? Yes, you do. But pineapple is delicious. Cut the rest up, freeze it. That's what I'm gonna do. And I really do think if you can, you should use fresh pineapple because it has that zesty, delicious, zesty? I don't know if that's the word. Uh, zingy, you know, the, 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 I had a word, I've lost it. You know what I mean? The thing that fresh pineapple is that canned pineapple is not. Let's do 30, let's make it a 40 gram. All right, 40 grams of pineapple. We're gonna go in with a quarter of an onion. Next, we need one whole cup of vegan mayonnaise. I'm using Follow Your Heart because it is superior and I found this at Woolies. Next, we need one third of a cup of rice malt syrup. I'm using the Pure Harvest, which is gluten-free. And finally, half a teaspoon of salt. There is our beautiful kiwi sauce. It's a little bit liquidy, but that is totally okay. It does thicken up in the fridge over the next few days. So if you wanna make this a couple of days in advance of when you know you're gonna have Isaac toast, you can go ahead and do that. This is also a recipe I actually veganized from Songkyong Longest's blog. Um, I just also played with the ratios a little bit just to fit my palate. So delicious. Let's get making our toast. So for the rest of your Isaac toast, you are gonna need some vegan egg. This is my vegan folded brekkie egg recipe and it's perfect for this. I have the recipe on my website and I've also got another video which I will link here which you can check out. It's super easy, just blend it up and have it ready to go. Vegan cheese. Now ideally you'd use some American style cheese but we don't have a lot of, you know, that plasticky kind of craft single slices. We don't have access to a lot of vegan cheese options here in Australia, so I'm just using what I could find. This is quite good actually. This is the made with plants cheddar. Found it at Woolies. You're gonna need some vegan ham. I actually really like the Veggie Delights bacon style rashes in this toast. We're not gonna fry it till it's crispy. It just gives it a nice hammy flavor. And I also like to double up with a little bit of tofurkey. So I'm gonna use both of those. This is the tofurkey smoked style ham. You need some pickles, these are just dill cucumber pickles, which I slice with my super fun little cutter here. You'll need some thinly shredded cabbage. I don't actually love cabbage, especially raw, but it is very good in this recipe. I had my doubts, but just do it, just do it. You can use lettuce if you really want, but I would recommend cabbage. You need some corn kernels. I'm using sweet corn kernels, and that's gonna go with our egg. And finally, some black salt. You don't absolutely need black salt, but I think it's the combo of the sulfurousness of egg and the kiwi sauce that really makes Isaac toast. And I would say it's absolutely worth it to go out of your way to get the black salt just for this recipe. Where can you find it? 
I always go to the Indian supermarket, they always have black salt there, or a Nepalese supermarket should also always have black salt. Um, it looks like this. When it's powdered, it's pink, um, and it smells stank. You need some bread and vegan butter. You want white toast that is not cut too thin. I found that the Woolies soft white toast is a really good thickness. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. It's just perfect for Isaac toast. So before you begin cooking, you want to butter your toast, both sides if you can. Or you can butter one side and then butter the other side before you flip it in the pan. But that can be a little bit tricky sometimes, so I like to do it before. Also, don't be scared of the butter. It's going to make it extra delicious, so just be generous with it. Alright, let's make an egg. Let's get some vegan butter into the pan. I'm gonna swirl that around. You're gonna pour in just enough egg to cover the base. And then you can swirl it around. Oop, you can pour a bit more. And then immediately, we're gonna put some corn on there. Just a small sprinkle of corn. Because that's what they do at Isaac Toast. Let that cook for a couple minutes. Okay, let's fold this bad boy. It doesn't matter if it's not quite square, just go for it. All right, we had some problems starting off. Yes, better. Beautiful. Take a slice of your cheese, pop it on top. We'll move our egg to the side and I'll put some bacon in the, in the pan and you just really wanna heat this bacon through. I put a slice of our tofurkey ham in there. It really does not have to cook for long. Oh, this is hard to do with one hand. I should put the camera down. Take your bacon, put it on top of the egg. Voila. Make a nice little stack and then you can take this off the heat. I'm gonna put it onto here. If you're making a few, you can put it into the oven to keep it hot, but I'm just making one for now. And toasting your toast. Super easy. Bam! Toast is in the pan. And boom, your toast is done. Beautifully toasted golden bread. Okay, to assemble our toast, put your toast out. We're gonna take our delicious kiwi sauce and I'm gonna put a dollop on each slice of bread and spread it out. And the best thing about having this sauce homemade is that you can add more as you eat it. So it doesn't matter if there's not enough right now. You're gonna take your egg, cheese, ham stacks. We're gonna go ahead, put those on top. We'll take some of our pickles, put about three. On. You can put more if you're a pickle lover. Got our shredded cabbage and you're just going to put a nice little handful. A little sprinkle of black salt all over. Stanky, stanky, but in a good way, you know? Mmm, that smells so eggy and delicious. It's coming together. And then I like to do a last little drizzle on top of extra sauce. Close those bad boys up and we are done. Just, just look at this beauty. And if you're feeling a little bit fun, you can wrap them. I like to wrap mine. It, I find it makes it easier to eat and it also adds to the vibe, you know? feels like you bought it, but you didn't. You made it because you're amazing. Wrap, wrap, wrap. And wrap, wrap, wrap. Wow, just look at that. Look at that. We've got our toast, let's get into it. I'm big on the sauce.
Mm. It is so good. So scrumptiously delicious. Mm. It's just so satisfying. You get carbs from the bread. It's buttery. There's salty ham. It's cheesy. Sulfurousness from the egg and the black salt, like the crunch of the cabbage. The tanginess from the pickle and the sauce. The sauce just holds everything together. Mmm. Mmm. It is an experience. An experience you need to have. It's like a bucket list experience. Heaven. Heaven. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have missed creating content for you guys. If you have any suggestions for what you would like us to make next, let me know. Or let me know just how you're doing. How you doing? Um, I've been pretty good. As you can see, I moved into a new place. You've never seen this kitchen before. I don't know how I didn't start with that. Um, but yeah, I've moved into my own place. Uh, Will and I are no longer together, but we're still very good friends. Um, and I'm eating Isaac toast every day. Life's pretty good. We're growing. Mm. Oh, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you.